Good morning, everybody. Uh, Adrian Porchas, operations trainee with Southwest Incident Management Team 5. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you an overview of uh, the events that took place yesterday over the fire and then also uh, what we have planned for today. So uh, starting here in Division Alpha on the southeast corner of, of the fire, uh, we had a good day yesterday. We had a good window of opportunity with the weather to implement quite a bit of work. Uh, starting in San Jeronimo, we actually did a little bit of chipping uh, down in that country, in that community. And then also uh, in Las Tuzas, we were able to complete some work there as well. Um, as of this morning, we did receive quite a bit of moisture uh, pretty much throughout the full footprint of the fire. So um, the, the, the division is going to access uh, assess the need or, or assess uh, if they could actually gain access to a lot of these communities to continue some of the work, important work there. But uh, I think if they cannot uh, do any, implement any work, you know, they will be uh, uh, focusing on, on making public contact, trying to gather more information on, on what, uh, what public needs may be out there. Uh, for the future uh, <clears throat> and then going down into division uh, Charlie down down on the south end here um, they're gonna same thing you know yesterday they uh, they they had a pretty successful day as far as uh, doing some good work uh, mechanical work with heavy equipment along Bull Canyon and several other lines uh, within the division uh, everybody is pretty pretty busy and you know we got quite, quite a bit of work done yesterday so uh, today, same, uh, you know, with the weather, they're going to try to get in there and, and continue that th that effort again. But if not, you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna also focus on kind of making public contact as well wh where needed. Uh, going into Division Hotel, um, these folks made some good progress as well, working on dozer lines with heavy equipment, uh, also some hand crew work trying to to re uh, repair a lot of those lines as well. Uh, in the Iron Gate, uh, near the Iron Gate community there, uh, just east of, of Iron Gate. And then um, they've been assessing kind of the, what, what the needs are to repair the Iron Gate Road, which is, uh, is, is going to be a, is one of the main uh, objectives for that division uh, for the near future. But again, we're, um, you know, for today, it's, it's pretty sloppy out there with the, with the current uh, weather that we had this morning. So, uh, so they're, you know, they'll be assessing if they're, they're going to be able to implement a lot of that work. Um, and then <clears throat> some of the fires perimeter up here in hotel, you know, near uh, Beatty's cabin is where we, we ended up adding some containment there. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the containment and, and what that means uh, here after I give the, the overview of, of what's going on with the, with the fire. Um, <clears throat> and then going into Division Oscar, uh, Division Oscar is continuing to work lines just uh, south of the monastery. Um, they, they've actually uh, uh, completed quite a bit of work yesterday as well, which is really good. And then uh, uh, some other work, uh, good work uh, was accomplished in the Tres Ritos area, um, which then they also completed quite a bit of work there uh, yesterday. And uh, <clears throat> you know, we, the, the division the last couple days did quite a bit of work in Martinez Pond all that, uh, all that work in near the Martinez Pond area has been, uh, has been completed. Um, all we're left to do is really some seating there. And then uh, all the other areas that I just discussed, you know, they're going to try to assess the, the, you know, see if they could get in there to do some work. And if they can, they're going to continue that for today as well and continue to make public contact. Um, so going into Division Sierra, this upper portion here, um, <clears throat> they're going to be continuing to work uh, the Gallegos Road. Uh, you know, as, as they were doing yesterday, and then also this Pot Creek area, what they were focused on yesterday, they're going to continue that work. And then also um, what we're calling Apache, uh, the line here, uh, they're going to continue working that just uh, up towards Angel Fire. Um, we did have some the resources come in a little earlier this morning uh, to install some new culverts uh, here just south of, you know, south of the community at Angel Fire near Drop Point 182. So that was a big effort, uh, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll have that accomplished by today. But again, you know, with all this work that I just described, you know, it's going to be um, contingent on, on kind of what the conditions are from the moisture as well. And then going into uh, Division X-Ray, which is this whole entire area here, uh, Division X-Ray was, uh, was able to complete some, some lines here uh, just to the southeast of Black Lake yesterday. 
And then also they did a little bit of work uh, within the wild fi uh, firewise community just to the north west of uh, Black Lake Resorts as well. And uh, you know they they have plans to go back in there and finish a little bit of more a little bit more work there with some chipping and also some some crew work, uh, which uh, they should have accomplished uh, in the next uh, net day or so. Um, and then once that's completed, they're, they're actually going to focus more, more of their efforts to this, uh, just to the east of Black Lake Resorts, uh, repairing some of the roads and dozer lines uh, just to the east there uh, within that division. And then going into the North Repair, so the North Repair Group, uh, they're, they're tasked with, they're not tied to a geographical area on the fire, so, so they're, they're mobile, they're just helping out all the other divisions with with uh, support as far as any suppression repair efforts uh, are needed. So uh, right now their main focus is, is between Chacon and then uh, Rociada. Uh, they've been doing that whole, that whole area in between there. They've been doing a, uh, a miscellaneous work uh, that includes uh, you know, fence repair, um, a road repair, dozer line repair, and they're still continuing that effort and they're also making public contact uh, as they're doing that work to to try to get some more uh, uh, s some more public uh, information to you know noted so that we can try to try to implement work on on private uh, lands in the future as well. Uh, another important note to mention, you know, they're they're mending fences, they're putting new H braces on, uh, you know, for these fences, and the, you know, just to describe that, the H braces are used uh, for for the barbed wire fences. I know a lot of the ranching community understands that, but for you know when we talked about like H braces. Uh, it, it's implying that uh, they're, they're, that's uh, that's a part of a fence for the barbed wire uh, that they're utilizing. So they're they're replacing a lot of that stuff for the ranching infrastructure as well. So which is really good. And then um, also uh, yesterday we did have some isolated moisture throughout the fire, which uh, ended up we ended up getting a little bit of moisture here uh, near the Abuelo area. And uh, there was a road that was washed out. Uh, it was uh, County Road A005. Uh, near that area, um, we we are going to be uh, assisting in uh, in opening up that road today, uh, just so, to, so that the public could gain access to their homes. Uh, so <clears throat> we will will be assisting that. You know that we know the county's pretty busy uh, uh, with other efforts uh, throughout the the county there. So we're we're going to help them open up that road, which is going to be a, a good effort as well as if folks are are wondering about that. <clears throat> so. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the update uh, as far as what's, what, was, what we did yesterday and what's planned for today. Um, I'm just going to hit a little bit on, on the containment side of stuff. So, you know, we did end up adding 1% containment to the fire yesterday, which was, which was, which was big. You know, we, with the current moisture, uh, we felt that, that it, was, uh, it was justifiable to, to add some containment there, uh, on, especially on, you know, on, this, on this open edge of fire that's that's on on the west side of the uh, of the footprint. So just to uh, you know explain a little bit what containment means. Uh, so when we add containment, it doesn't necessarily mean that the fire is completely out. Um, so uh, th there's 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 a process that occurs uh, when we when we start contain you know uh, when we start trying to uh, you know we start calling fires either contained, controlled, or out. So there's a there's a there's a there's a big process to this. So the first process is that we, we call it contain. That means that the, the, the perimeter is secure, uh, whether that's you know by, by, by uh, resources physically securing that fire's edge with hand line, dozer line, whatever the case may be, or it could be natural features or you know uh, like the events we just had with the weather. Uh, that, that could definitely add some containment. And uh, you know this area we felt that was uh, this, this area in here where we added the one percent of containment. We felt that uh, it, you know, uh, it was actually we felt that it, there was a need to add some containment there because it had not, you know, uh, the, the edge seemed to be f secure, and uh, that's something that we've we've been observing for a long time. Uh, so so this this area of this edge, you know, we haven't physically put anybody in here, but uh, it's such big country and and. Uh, out in the wilderness that, you know, that this is, if, if there was any sort of heat in there, uh, they, it definitely would have moved on its own, but obviously with the current moisture, it hasn't. So, so, go, so going back to the, the containment controlled and, and out, 
So once, uh, you know, once, uh, once we contain the whole fire's perimeter uh, later on, you know, maybe a, a couple months or so, uh, then at that point, we would evaluate to see if the fire is actually controlled. That meaning that there's, there's pretty much no heat within the whole perimeter or any heat that could threaten uh, the fire from, from coming out outside of the perimeter. Uh, so that's, that's kind of like a precautionary, different uh, precautionary uh, action or, or uh, the thing that we do uh, in the wildland fire uh, community is that uh, we, we got to ensure that it's, it's, n it's not going to threat anything. Uh, you know, there's no threat for it to escape the perimeter. So that's when we call it controlled. And then there's a third uh, phase, which then we call it out. So that's absolutely no way that there's any heat or anything. And then that's when we, we, we definitely are able to call it out and we could pretty much walk away and not be concerned with it. So I hope that kind of explains it a little bit. Uh, but, you know, we are going to, in the future, we are going to continue to monitor this fire's edge to, to try to add some more containment, uh, you know, uh, just to let the public know, you know, there's, there's still going to be some areas that are going to be open because it's a lot of steep, nasty country uh, that's with, that lies within some of this open fire's edge that we may not call contained throughout our tour here. Uh, so it may be a while, but... Uh, you know, we feel comfortable uh, potentially calling a lot of this fire's edge contained because it's 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 roughly you know it's it's uh, some more gentle type of terrain that we can we can say that the, that the threat of it uh, moving or anything will be will will, will be zero or not to none. So, um, but other than that, that's that's it for the operational uh, briefing for this morning, and have a good day.